was convicted of sexually assaulting and killing a 21-month-old girl named Consuelo Verdugo. But new evidence, or lack thereof, is putting that into question. Monday, the California Supreme Court making a life-changing ruling. The judgment of conviction is vacated in its entirety. So we're back at ground zero. Kyle Humphrey is a local defense attorney. He says after all these years on death row, this full reversal puts Benavidez back to where he was before the trial. He's presumed innocent and he's entitled to a trial uh, to determine whether he did anything at all. The high court citing false evidence for why they're overturning the conviction. Documents show multiple county doctors that testified at trial saying the little girl was raped are now saying that didn't happen and the cause of death is wrong. So why do they give false information? Those doctors say they were not given her full medical records or the autopsy report before taking the stand. But now, after reviewing all records, they do not believe the girl was sexually assaulted. Doctors say her injuries could have been caused by a kick or punch to the abdomen or can be attributed to medical intervention when she was being treated at the hospital. With this new information, the case now returns to the Kern County District Attorney's Office. The DA will need to decide whether to retry Benavides or not. It's going to be very difficult for them to put a case together. And no matter what you do, there's going to be the cloud of suspicion as to why particular evidence was not reviewed by the experts. Now, after today's ruling is officially filed, the DA's office tells me they have 60 days to decide if they're going to take action or not. For example, going after Benavides for second degree murder. The DA's office is expected to comment on this case later this week. Reporting in studio, I'm Kristen Powers, Eyewitness News. Back to you.